Hello everybody, and welcome back. I'm Count Christo, and this is our No Step Back Soviet Union Tanks Only campaign. So, some of you may have seen a video I did a little while ago where I played the Soviet Union off camera, and I only used tank divisions, and uh, I kind of destroyed the axis. It was a good time. Basically, we're going to try and do that again, but since then, it's got a little bit harder. <laughs> They've added fuel. They've added the new supply system. So it's going to be dramatically more challenging, and I have no idea if we can pull it off, but I think it'll be pretty fun. So here's step one. Select all units. Select tanks. Split them off into a separate thing. Take the rest of your units, delete them. You cannot disband some of these units, okay? Why? <laughs> Which ones can't I disband? We'll find out this way. The rules of this game are simple. All of your units have to be tanks. Every single one of them. What is a tank? It's an excellent question. It is when this defaults to a tank. So if we were to put a bunch more motorized infantry in here, at some point, I believe... I could be finding out that I'm wrong about this here, but I don't think I am. Whoops, it's a tank. It's still a tank, you kidding me? Well, we're not going to use divisions like this. We might need to come up with a simpler rule. There we go. Okay, so that is technically a mechanized division. Or, a, sorry, a motorized division. Because it hasn't got enough tanks in it. So, technically, this... If we add one more in, that would be a tank division. And those are allowed, okay? So I think that is the... That's not the metric we're going to go by, though. Because that would be too easy. This is basically just an infantry division. I think you have to have at least 50% of the units in a division, of the brigades, the combat brigades, have to be tanks. Now, what's the problem with this? Uh, I will show you the problem. Here is a tank brigade with more than half of the divisions. It costs 2,000 to 4,600, <laughs> okay? Here is an infantry brigade. It costs 429 to 492. <laughs> now, the defense on this infantry brigade is 204, and the defense on this tank brigade is 98. The HP on this tank brigade is 100. It's 200. The organization is 48. It's 32. So, we're gonna struggle. <laughs> we're gonna struggle. But, there is, of course, yet more problems. The supply consumption on this is 1.3, whereas on this... It's 0.7. The weight is 4.6, whereas on this, it's 8. <laughs> There's advantages, of course. We're going to have really good soft attack. We're going to have some good armor bonuses. We're going to have good breakthrough. But, you know, it's, it's going to be challenging. <laughs> so let's see how this goes. We are allowed to use cavalry for military policing, I have decided. I think that would be a little bit, a little bit absurd if we didn't allow ourselves that. So let's set up the priorities the way I usually set it up. And this is also my first game playing as the Soviets since their mighty, mighty tree has been added. And we're not going to overcomplicate things. I think um, we will definitely be going, um, you know, the path of Marxist-Leninism and then center and just going with Stalin. Uh, it would be, in my opinion, foolish to complicate things further by... Uh, you know, causing a civil war, basically. So, do we want to start with this and going down the center? Daily communism's not really needed. This would be kind of nice. Some more, um... Well, actually, that's kind of useless. <laughs> start in constitution, though. Yeah, get some more political power, more stability. And then we do need to do some purges, right? Stalin will start a great purge. This purge will not be avoidable. I don't know if you have to do the trial in a certain number of days, the purge, or you get a civil war anymore. I assume you do. Um, yeah, we also have the Red Army, which hurts us, um, and the Soviet Air Force, which just sucks big time, and the five-year plan, which is kind of good, but also kind of bad. We can upgrade it, um, as well as a politicized military, so the doctrines are more expensive. Okay, and we start with this dude, head of the NKVD. Less stability, but a bunch of useless stuff about operatives. Okay. And we are on civilian economy. Obviously, we want to get off that just as soon as we possibly can. Uh, do we want to go down 
the engineering stuff first. Modify defense industry by less growth, more cap. Oh, that's pretty good. Or do we want to start doing like heavy industry? Finish the five-year plan. Okay, so <clears throat> excuse me. I know that's just a uh, an advisor. Right. Once you get start getting down here, oh, but it's more five-year plan stuff on that. Hmm. I think we start political. Well, I'm 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 really going back and forth here. Um. Knocking out some early civilian plans does seem prudent. Getting Stalingrad tractor factory would be nice. Get the consumer goods down. Yeah, let's start with... Oh, and is that what I want to do? Maybe foreign experts, which gives infrastructure up, military factions speed up. That's pretty good, but... Well, it's only 2% consumer goods. I think I'm going to rush foreign experts and get the civilian, so mostly for the civilian and military factory build speed. And then knock out these two and get the extra research slot. I think that seems prudent. We're gonna do those and then we're gonna purge. And the purge is gonna, it's gonna make us bleed. For darn sure it's gonna make us bleed. Now, obviously we're gonna have to worry a lot about getting a serious, I have a mod by the way that adds Various mods. I'll link, if I remember, I'll link in the top comment the, the mod pack that I use. I have a, a bunch of things. They add, you know, colored but new colored buttons, more clear icons on the map for trains, lots of uh, lots of nice little quality of life changes. The only problems that I have is that once you start getting high numbers in speed and breakthrough, it can overlap a little bit, <clears throat> but it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, okay, yes, paratroopers are of course not going to be allowed. And I am almost certainly going to use a spreadsheet for factories because I need to. We need to play well <laughs> in this game. We're allowed to use ships and planes as normal, by the way. There's no uh, no restrictions on that. So research. Let's do the classics to begin with, I think. And obviously, tanks wise, do we want to use? We probably want to use just lights. But I don't know. We'll we'll play with it. We'll have spare research because we don't need to research. Well, I suppose we still do need these, but. We'll play with different stuff, like, you know, do we want to use mechanized, do we want to use uh, all that stuff, because, you know, we need to build a really good tank division. <laughs> and yeah, we'll go with some, some good planes, I imagine. Let's get an intelligence agency founded, so we can try and steal tech from the Germans? Yeah, that seems good. And then buildings-wise, are we going to get infrastructure from from this in Moscow. It's there. This is railway. Looks like no? Okay. Let's let's start with a little bit of infrastructure in the places with so gonna have lots of building slots. So here, Stalingrad. Down here. Okay. Yeah. God we've not got many factories. What's hurting this so much? It's a freaking five year plan. Yeah, and civilian economy of course. Okay. <clears throat> Mills to start with. One thing is obvious. We need chromium and we need steel. Fortunately, we start with lots of both, but in the future we are going to need more, which means Turkey is very much on the menu. We need some of that uh, chromium and steel they have down there. And yeah, of course, we've got a lot of oil in Baku, uh, but getting Iran, Iraq will, uh, will be helpful for more oil production. We're also almost certainly, I think, going to have to build a whole bunch of synthetic refineries. Um, because the, the number of tanks... The thing is about having loads and loads and loads of tanks is that if they're not all fighting at once, it's not the worst thing in the world for fuel, but I still think we're probably going to have to build a bunch of synthetics. Uh, and yeah, rubber. <clears throat> it's the other reason we're going to need some synthetics. <clears throat> One strategy you can do is an early naval invasion of the Netherlands in order to steal the Dutch East Indies. Do I want to do that? Maybe we do do that. It's cheesy. But, I mean, come on, have you seen this freaking challenge that I've set myself? I think we're allowed to be cheesy. So who can't, we can't delete the NKVD divisions just yet. Alright, that's not a problem, we can just not use them. So here is our actual army. And, uh, yeah, Zukov in charge to start with, sounds good. Of course, many of these guys may, may or may not get purged. He's an infantry officer, but I do like him because of the planning speed and the offensive doctrine. Brilliant strategist. Is there a, a tank leader to start with? No. So yeah, sure. We'll just put him in charge for now. He might get purged. He might not. You know how it is. So we've invented fighters. 
And strat bombers. I will put a factory on strat bombers. Because I think... Oh, we already have one. Because I think just one, one factory on strat bombers getting out a few. Because uh, they're really good for logistical strikes. But then, yeah, we need... You know. <laughs> let's not mess about. We need tanks. First and foremost, we need tanks. And what's our tank template going to look like? You know, we're going to get some some support tanks, some flamethrowers. It's going to be... It's going to be a good time. Okay, short on rubber. Give me some for the Dutch East Indies. And then we're going to be a little bit in excess by three. So let's try and be a bit efficient here. <clears throat> we're going to need a lot of trucks. A lot of trucks as well. So let's start off with some more on that. Good. I'm pause. Okay. Decisions wise. Nothing we really need in here. There are going to be some good chromium mines coming in later. No interest in steel and tungsten yet, though. Although we will need tungsten. How is our tungsten? Yeah, not great. We'll hopefully get some tungsten off Sweden at some point. But we'll need that if we decide to go medium tanks. But yeah, we'll invent medium tanks and then we'll look at the, the cost-benefit analysis. The advantage of light tanks, one of the big ones anyway, is that the uh, you know they're cheap. Which is uh, kind of desperately important. Uh, and we're not going to be doing full no-step-back hours. Uh, we're going to... To likely, we will need to play defensive um, to begin with because, you know, the moment when the Germans declare, things are kind of just getting started or really just getting fully kicked into gear. If we do adap adapt to this posture, we'll probably need to get a new supply hub behind Kiev, but maybe we try and hold. Uh, I don't know. This is the Pripyat marshes, right? Around here somewhere? Tanks don't do so well there, I've heard. But yeah, so maximum fuel usage per day would be 10,000 just off our army, which is, you know... All right, now 3,000. Sorry, max total daily consumption would be 10,000 because of the uh, the Navy, mostly. All right, there's the NKVD. Give me a cryptology department. I want to decrypt Germans, German uh, stuff as soon as we can. We're on historical focuses, by the way, and uh, every, all the other settings are, are unchanged. We're not on Iron Man mode. Uh, mostly because I have the strategic view adjustments mod, which means that our units stay spread out once we're zoomed out to this amount, rather than combining when you're like here, because I think I find it very useful to be able to visualize front lines. Out of date equipment in production. Ah, oh, yes, our uh, <coughs> excuse me, our navy. Let's not worry about that. <coughs> Just finish what's in production right now, and then we will. Um... Whoops. Let's. Uh... Let's worry about it afterwards. Just one of each of those, one of those. Okay, and we would like them all deployed to Leningrad, please. Good stuff. Yeah, so people are on historical. No one's buffed because we've already got enough problems, <laughs> basically. Let's unify the Air Force. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, we shouldn't have to worry about the Eastern Front. If we have to try and get supplies over to the Eastern Front, I'm going <laughs> to cry. <laughs> so what are we starting with here? Yeah, some pretty good... Pretty good setups. Let's just... Tweak some of these into... The kind of air wings we're looking for. These tack bombers. We're not going to use too many tack bombers. It's that naval bomber. Likewise. Good. Did that do that right? Sorry, you strap bombers should still be under there. Yes. Good. No divisions and basic training. Yes, well, we're probably short on tanks anyway. Yes, we are indeed. We have uh, more than a year deficit on light tanks. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I also imagine we're going to want to make very narrow divisions. Where's my... Did I save the uh, the chart? Let me let me get that up actually. Someone on Reddit made a very interesting chart about the um, or at least beginning to uh, help us understand what's going on with combat width these days. So let me uh, let me pull that up for you. Give me mere moments here. This one. Here it is. So, here's the chart. 
so this is talking about if you're attacking from two provinces in plains, hills, and forests, the blue line takes the average of the uh, proportion of your divisions you'll be able to have in combat. So there are peaks, as you can see. There's one at 8, there's one at 12, there's one at 15, there's kind of one at 20, there's one at uh, 24, I believe it is. There's one at 30. So we're probably going to run 15 width divisions. That's my expectation. Because... Once we get wider than that, they're going to get too heavy to have a full front line of tanks. So we're probably going to try starting with some uh, some 15 widths. That's my intent. We'll see how that works out. Okay. New operative. Any Germans? Yes, indeed. He's well-groomed, which is not that useful. Could get infiltration risk down. What's it? What's the uh, bonus from? It's thirty percent gain, ten percent chance cost. Yeah, let's have, let's get the German. And yeah, go spy on the Reich. There's infrastructure effort done. Ah, oh, I can't actually do this until we have a hundred factories. Okay, good to know. In which case, could get some more mills by going down transpolar flights. Could be nice. Seems like that would be useful. Um, what else is in here? Defensive industry. Sorry, defense industry. Are we... Yeah, Trotsky plot is hurting and obviously stability is hurting on uh, PP gain as well. And we don't need to move industry to the Urals, obviously. Could get a, slot, a tech slot pretty quickly by doing that. Yeah, I think this is what we do. We go Founder DPCI, Mechanical Engineering, Tech Slot. Turkey seizes control over the Bosphorus. Shall we shall we mobilize the armed forces immediately? We will have an operation to disc de escalate. I mean with our eleven tanks, do you reckon we could take Turkey through the mountains? <laughs> sure, let's try it. <laughs> I'm gonna save. But we'll obviously we'll consider it a loss if this ends up uh, coming back to bite us. We can't use the NKVD. So NKVD, just go and ring Moscow. But yes, sure. This should be funny. <laughs> We're short tons of light tanks. We're, oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> we try and put this many men on the front. We already have huge supply problems. So you lot... Can't to Sevastopol, and maybe we try a naval invasion. It should auto pick the top one, but maybe they didn't include that in this uh, in this game. Maybe that's just from the others. I'm not interested in war propaganda. Um, what was I thinking? Yes, do we have naval invasion tech? We do. Okay. So you lads, we will be landing here and here. Excuse me. And here. Oh, it's just probably the arrow is to the same place. Oh, no, we can't land there because we can't go through uh, through the strait. Well, I guess we land in Izmit then. Yeah, because we can't, I mean, we might have bad supply just with one guy on each. Which should I press? Did I just gain more support? Or did I lose it? I guess we'll see. Turkey compromises! Haha! -ha. After much negotiating, they decided to take control of the Straits while permitting free access to all nations bordering the Black Sea. Ironclad promised by Turkey leaves little room for protests, already been hastily approved by Bulgaria and Romania. Well, that crisis can be considered concluded. Nice. So we... We have... Excuse me? Neutral? Neutral? Should not be neutral? Shouldn't I have access? Do, so do I actually have access now? Excuse me? You were supposed to give me access? Turkey. Turkey. I am displeased. That's weird. Maybe it's bugs? Well, I'm going to leave my men down here in case something else develops. But good, I'm glad we didn't back down. Right, so we can modify the officer corps. You know, army drill specialist. Don't really want to do that. Could get an airborne specialist. Don't really want to do that. He is concerned about factionalism. So, the paranoia system. New mechanic. I have never seen this before. In a recent session of the Central Committee, Comrade Yusuf Stalin 
noted the growing factionalism inside the party. While all members of the committee were quickly to assure him of their full and unconditional support, this has apparently done very little to ease his concerns. Good comrade Yusuf Stalin, we must always be vigilant for sabotage and wreckers who plot against the state in whatever position they may be. This news has come a bit of a surprise to many in the party who believe the threat of the party split ended with Trotsky's exile. Is there really anything to his worries? We unlock the political paranoia decisions, we get political power, paranoia, which increases by one weekly, and we get 10% drift defense. Political advisors with the head of the NKVD trait will increase political, panel we uh, ha, political paranoia weekly. So you're an NKVD dude, and so you're giving us political pa um, paranoia. So we want to try and avoid that. And what does paranoia do? The atmosphere of suspicion and mistrust hangs over the Soviet Union. Mrs. Tarn's concerns about factionalism within the party grow as countless accusations and alleged acts of sabotage, wreckage, and espionage are being investigated. So it's currently 0%, going up by 2. Forge satisfactory production reports. So our latest production reports have been slightly concerning. We can lower paranoia, but it costs us 2% factory, 2% factories for 90 days. And... 25 political power. Okay. Okay, here we go. If it increases to 25, random purge events may occur. The higher the paranoia, the more days it has been that high, the more likely it is for purge to happen. If it goes over 25, 75, a great purge events may occur. Certain focuses, decisions, and effects will make may, will make paranoia immediately decrease. Certain advisors and countries will slowly increase it. Completing the focus block, the block of rights and Trotskyites will remove the paranoia system. Okay, where is that? There. Okay. And this gets you a, your kind of kicks off a, a final great purge, and then you can kind of stabilize below that. Okay. So I think we're going to just do a couple of um, industrial focuses, and then we're going to head down towards that. Uh, yeah. That purge, basically. Try and get, get old Stalin man to chill out a bit. So when it gets above 25 is the worrying bit. I wonder if there is an alert for it when it's over 25. I suspect no. Yes. Cap up and growth down seems good, especially since it gives us... Oh, hang on. Was that two times weapons? Mm, I'd rather get this tech first. Yeah, I think I will... Before that focus finishes, we will research... It's a 70-day one, yeah? Yeah, okay. Before that focus finishes, we will research this. And obviously, you know, this is all the infantry tech stuff, which may seem less important, but the motorized in our divisions are still going to be relevant. Okay. So who's going to be our first... What's going to be our first political change? Normally, you want a... Uh, Tyler's workhorse. Do we not have one of them? There's a political commissar, which is similar. But a figurehead could be nice. To try and help with the stability situation. Mm. And then all the rest of these require certain things. I think we'll probably just go with partial mob as our first uh, first main step. I'm pretty sure we're on historical focuses. Are we going to have time for another tech finishing before the focus? There are 33 days left in the focus. Curses. Not quite. So I won't go straight to this, though I'd like to. We want to make sure we actually use those bonuses for more expensive infantry techs. Were they just for infantry? Or were they... Uh Truck and infantry weapons, okay. Do you want to do ahead of time truck tech? No, I mean, it could be nice to get this, but we don't need it that ahead of time. Getting the hardness on the motorized. We'll look at whether mechanized are worth it, but I suspect they won't be. We might even want to go with cavalry tank divisions. <clears throat> much as though I don't like the idea. Because they're, uh, they're so much cheaper. And yes, we could be going with, obviously, some uh, army regrouping and all that, but I'd rather go with... Uh, with partial mode first, get the extra 10% sieves cranking out new stuff. And now that those are finished, let's get these. And obviously, they should be the priority. Where else did I do it? I thought I did it in three places. Yes, Stalingrad. Good. And yeah, obviously, we're going to build sieves for a while. Um, try and build up a bit. Oh, I also need this. Requires mobilization plan. Okay. Means to wage war. Material designer cost down is nice. This could, ooh, breakthrough up from defense industry. Nice. Two times for support technology is pretty nice. And we all obviously need logistics companies, some maintenance companies. Lots of important things to be done. 
speaking of important things to be done, convoys. Let's have some, maybe two factories on convoys to start with. So what happened to our access through the Black Sea? I thought it, it specifically said, like, those bordering the Black Sea would get access, but... We will be going concentrated, because we're going to be banging out just tanks and tanks and tanks and tanks and tanks. Still don't want to support. We will, of course, switch off Mass Assault and onto Mobile Warfare. We will absolutely have to. Advisor accused of treason. Oh, crap, it did go above 30. I didn't... 425, I didn't realise. Um, oh, nice. We can actually retire our... Um, Head of the NKVD. <laughs> nice. Because <laughs> he's the only one. Beautiful. Uh, yes, please. That's going to lower our political paranoia. Excuse me? Oh, it wasn't him. Crap, it was somebody else. Who did we just get rid of? No. <laughs> Is it these ones that are shown as locked up? They can be purged while in prison. Do they show up with like a dead... Like a picture saying they're dead? Bollocks. I thought it was going to get rid of him. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. Ah, oh, here we go. We can see. Oh, but I can't see what bonuses he would have given. Nuts. Well, maybe he was like the tank advisor and we're doomed. <laughs> but, of course, you can train new tank advisors now, so... It's not such a big concern. I imagine that we can get Zukov as an armor specialist at some point. Obviously, he needs uh, Panzer Leader, but... I wonder why they decided to call it Panzer Leader rather than Armor Leader. Because doesn't Panzer just mean armor in German? I think that's right. What does Yosef give us, by the way? Is that how you say it? With an I? Yosef? Oh, he has no no modifiers right now. Oh, no, he does. You just can't hover over the portrait. You get more political power, 10% less stability, 5 wall support. People don't like you. <clears throat> and your puppets get less independent. And, of course, we have political paranoia. Cool. What should we call this? We should call it uh, tanks and tanks and tanks, I think. That seems... Seems appropriate. Okay. Oh, God. Five-year plan defense industry. Absolutely massacring our ability to make decent war here. We already had some defense industry modifier before, right? I didn't add the... I didn't just add the, the uh, negatives here from the retention. Maybe I did. Should we be sending volunteers to Spain? Probably. But we can't, because we don't have 30 divisions. If it was up to me, we would barely have, uh, we wouldn't have it 12, because I can't get rid of the uh, darn NKVD. Alright, but what I can do is go to partial mob. Nice. There we go. That's the building going. There's the means to wage war. And I can't do this yet because I need mobilization. Oh, good. 3% more recruitable population. That's going to make all the difference. And we still can't do this because we need 100 factories. So let's strengthen the mobilization plan. We're going to get to 100 factories relatively soon, though. Where else has a lot of slots? There's quite a few over here in the east. Like here. It's probably a good one to build up. Um, where else? Baku. There's not that many slots, but we will need that oil. So, yeah. Let's build some more down in Baku. We will also build a bunch more um, fuel silos, I think, so we can start the war with a huge pile of, uh, of goodies. And by goodies, I mean black gold. Okay. We're getting any sieves from exporting right now? Yeah, nice. Oh no, we're spending one on it, oil rubber, aren't we? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay, there's mobilization plan, which means it's time for engineering. And then are these good? You can get division organization up, but training time up, or cavalry attack, and you get some more divisions. <clears throat> and then you can get rehabilitated military, but you need to get rid of paranoia first. Yeah, so we'll go with cohesion for the organization, because organization is going to be one of the struggles of this campaign. And we're not going to do those ahead of time. I am, however, going to do that ahead of time. I always find myself doing industry techs ahead of time, early on. <clears throat> I'm no expert, but it just seems like it's almost always a good idea. Right. I can put a bunch of these in training, because they shouldn't get any light tanks. Yeah, good. They shouldn't get any light tanks until they're fully reinforced, but we can start training them. Just even though they don't have the uh, the full equipment, they can still train up to the amount of equipment they do have. can also show us what we're actually short of beyond light tanks, which indeed is, uh, is trucks, somewhat unsurprisingly. 
Have to imagine the light tank deficit is substantially longer though. Yeah, 2,000 days. <laughs> oh my lord. We might want to put less on artillery and support equipment. Certainly on artillery. I think we can do one less. Right, give me that. Leningrad Polytechnic Institute. I do like this mod that adds the, uh, the icons. They should probably add them to anti-air and forts and stuff as well. But, like here, showing the little little conical flask and the uh, the research bonus icon next to things here is, is nice. Right, and then we should definitely do these. Yeah, political paranoia is bad. Do I want to do this to try and keep it down? I mean, yeah, we should really. Let's try and uh, let's try and lower that a bit. Darn! I really thought we were just got lucky and we were going to be able to purge the head of the NKVT early. <laughs> And yeah, we do need to deal with this paranoia. I like that, well, maybe it is, but maybe it still causes, maybe there's still a civil war if you don't purge. But I like that there's a, a drive for a civil war. Sorry, to, to go down the political focuses and the purge and stuff that isn't just like, uh, as it turns out, the paranoia was right. And there's a civil war if you don't purge. Which is how it was before this DLC. And it seemed a little, well, A, a historical, and B, like kind of, I don't know, affirming <laughs> Stalin's wacko beliefs. Um... Occupied territories. Yeah, time to release some nations. Still, I love that. Everyone doing normal stuff so far? Looking at these national spirits, it looks like those two are. And nationalist Spain is winning, but they tend to win, and then it goes downhill from them when the Carlists rise. At least that's my experience of, uh, of no step back so far. An anti-saboteur campaign. We get ground-based training for a year, which lowers air experience gain, but... We're not really going to do that much air experience stuff early on. So, yes. We need to launch a full investigation to catch the perpetrator of these heinous crashes. Ah, that's interesting. It shows another X'd out face, even though we didn't actually just purge anyone. So I guess these faces don't actually correlate to who's being purged. And they used a generic portrait for that one. Interesting. Concentrated industry. Done. Jolly good. Could go ahead of time on this. I feel like that sometimes pays itself off, but I'm probably wrong because that just wouldn't make any sense, would it? Uh, let's get better guns. And we're almost certainly going to be using basic tanks that are basically self-propelled anti-infantry because, you know, we're likely to be fighting mostly infantry. Let's get that going. And there's room now in Moscow. And where do we put it over here? Stalingrad. Good. And then we should probably upgrade in Leningrad as well, since there's only one level of upgrade required there. And as we get more and more industry techs, there'll be more and more space. All right, there's Polytechnic Institute. Um, I think it's purge time. We definitely don't need to get any forts. Don't need any organization. Just, just taking another look before we... I mean, there are two mills in here, which is, you know... It's not nothing, but yeah, it's time. The path of Marxist Leninism. We also lower some paranoia by doing this, which is pretty nice. We um, bum, 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 bum. I wonder how bad the Great Purge is once that triggers. I suppose it's Great Purge events may occur, whereas when you manually trigger the Great Purge through focuses, I guess that triggers, you know, a whole bunch of Great Purge events rather than just, you know, that probably just triggers them one by one. Can be concentrated. Right, rock and roll. Bump in on that. I wish it would show you the... Um, does it do it if you do it here? No. I would like to be able to see how much... Jesus Christ, did stability, that stability minus 21%? I forgot stability was that impactful. Okay, so once we get stability sorted out, we're going to be in a much better position there. But yeah, our production queue is going to be pretty simple. We're not going to need... Actually, it should have occurred to me sooner. Really not going to need that many bits of infantry equipment. So, in fact, you know what? Yeah, bring that down another one. We just need we just need tanks. We just need tanks, as the day is freaking long. So put one factor on infantry equipment. Once we upgrade the infantry equipment, we'll put more on. But until then, not needed so much. So there's some political power, and yes. Oh, is address internal affairs? Can anyone do this? I guess they can. Okay. 
this isn't like another path it's just not not drawn properly right this is the exclusive path well actually you know what let's just take the center and then once I've done that, it should remove the left and right opposition paths. Maybe once the focus is completed. I suppose at this point I could still technically back out. So we couldn't go to war economy unless we had higher war support. We could generate world tension by fabricating on Germany. And that would almost certainly give us enough for war economy. I think that's probably a good idea. We, again, again, I know it's gamey, but we need to be gamey. But actually, it's only 5% consumer goods. We should probably get, like, you know, a popular figurehead to try and repair our stability first. Yeah, let's do that. And I'm sure I'm not playing optimally. Do not get me wrong, I know that. Do you want to start inventing some basic heavy cannons and stuff? I'm sure we need anti-tanks. Anti-tank guns, really. Medium tanks? We're going to get, obviously, the bonuses from the Germans. I don't know whether we want medium tanks or light tanks. I mean, the chassis are pretty similar. Medium tank has three higher breakthrough and lower speed, higher reliability. It's the same fuel usage. That's good to know. The supply use is higher on the mediums, but not very, very much. I think we are going to want both, but we should only invent this once we get a tank uh, designer. For now. Well, maybe the same logic applies to planes. Let's start inventing some support. Well, yeah, start inventing some support companies. That seems good. And we are definitely going to go down the... Um, we're going to invent radar for once, because there's uh, tank components in here. Radios that we can use, which is pretty nice. Dong, dong, dong. Alright, and we can get Infantry Designer. Probably what we want. There's the Anarchist Uprising, but no Carlists yet. So it looks like the Nationalists are definitely going to win. Unless the Carlists really screw things up for them. Yeah, I'm going to save the political power. I think we need the popular figurehead. This plus 15 is like fully plus 15% production for us right now. So now we've done the center, it should remove the others. Okay, good. So we can still do addressing internal affairs. So for the same logic, this increases political paranoia. Hmm. We probably want to try and push down some of these just to get the stability. Like, if we did these three, that's 20% stability. If we did these four, that's 30% stability. Man, these are really good. And then what can we do in the common turn? Military advisors to Spain, bit late. Um, development aid for Eastern allies. Don't really care about that. Don't really need war measures east. So we've got all kinds of communism support stuff over here. But we're not that interested in diplomacy. We're interested in tanks. So should I... Um, should we just push down here? Or should we just try and handle it with these inspections for a while, while I get... Yeah, let's get some stability going first, I think. And we can do inspection in the administration. We get a 30% chance of an advisor, 30% chance of conspiracy, and 30% chance of disloyalty in the NKVD. Hmm, that seems dangerous. General accused of treason, admiral accused of treason, inspect the Air Force. 100% chance of gets event conspiracy in the academy. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, I thought it was going to give me 10 immediately. That's when it finishes, I guess. But yeah, I would like to try and avoid purging people without me getting a choice in the matter, because if we purge important tank guys. Conspiracy in the academy. So what does this do then? Oh god, is this permanent? Anti-Soviet military thinking banned. Max SB down. Air generation down. Mission efficiency down. That's so bad. <laughs> That's really bad. Uh, so I'm not going to do it. We just wasted a bunch of political power. Oh well. <laughs> Maybe we do need to go down the purge stuff. I mean, this gives us political uh, stability as well, but... Yeah, this is pretty bad. <laughs> we need to we need to go down some of these. The purges from this will also... I mean, I know, I know these raise it, but then the decisions... Sorry, the events that it fires should lower it. 
but yeah. All right, looks like we've got rid of the uh, tank deficit in the actual deployed men. Good. Spain relocates gold reserves. Perhaps this smells spells opportunity. Yes, please. Can I seize those? How do I seize those? Give me the gold. Is it a focus? Give me your gold, Spain. <laughs> it's all mine. Okay, how's the building going? Good, 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 good. I think we're building in all 100% now. Yeah. There's addressing internal affairs, stability. Okay, so that's going to seriously bump up our tank production. Um, I mean, we have to go a long way down. Does this require collectivization process? Has completed anti-Soviet less recently than 175 days. Oh, okay, we should probably start pushing through these then if there's going to be time-limited ones. Yeah, let's do it. Get some more advantage. To Ooh, Chiang Kai-shek has been arrested. Nice. Gain an annex war goal against communist China. Or he's still needed. Oh no, China gains an annex war goal against communist China. Absolutely. Execute him. With a tank, preferably. We are we are the tanky communists. Don't take that out of context. So, we, yes, they've been executed, which means presumably they'll ferment some upset in here. We could invite them to our faction, but we don't get exiles. I didn't turn it on any of my mods that I think are fun, but uh, do make the game easier. Like, all ideologies get exile governments, because I think they're... I think that's fun, but... I think we should do an inspection of the Navy. You know, it's a 30% chance of an anti-saboteur campaign, which, I mean, that seems good. I mean, if, you know, the Navy is not that important, so doing a bunch of inspections in the Navy seems like a, a prudent path. What are we getting? An anti-saboteur campaign. A full investigation. Okay, good. It's only 365 days. It does hurt our output, but yeah, that's good. That's going to crush our uh, stuff. Apparently, the, the saboteur was a woman. How dare she? Um, there are lots of gimmicky things you can do with conversion speed at the moment. We're not going to do those. Just so you know. I think inventing radio seems good. Um, what else? <clears throat> yeah, we will need maintenance companies. So let's let's get that going. In the fullness of time, that's going to be uh, pretty important. Wow, that's a it's a very bright green. Get these guys to deploy once they can. What are you short on now? Still just a few light tanks, but for fourteen light tanks. And yeah, we're making uh, slightly more guns than tanks per day. There goes China on Communist China. I actually can't invite you to the faction. That's surprising. Base reluctance. Wants to contain the aggression of China. Yeah, I bet you do. Um, we are going to need... Well, we actually will need field hospitals, maybe. Because we're going to have very low HP in our divisions. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Not sure what to research. Let's just get some extraction. You know you're going to want the extraction tech. I could also really do with an army expert. Oh god, will you purge? No, good. Because we, we need him. Do not purge Constantine. And we need to do positive heroism. So that we can get him done. Oh, isn't positive heroism... Yeah, okay. Do, is that the one we want? 10% stability or the armor division guy. Darn. Although 3% factory output is nice. Division organization is nice. The consumer goods down. No! I would have liked to go this side, but I guess we'll go positive heroism because we need the armor bonus from the very beginning of the war. We can't afford to train him. Alright, got paranoia kind of under control for now. And this is going to lower it by 10? Yeah. We're not wasting any of that 10? No. Good. Okay. There goes them. A constitution was a good attempt, but it has served its purpose. A new constitution is needed. Acknowledge the tireless work of Comrade Stalin. Excellent. It does give us a bit more political power, which is good. And yeah, stability coming back up. Japan has declared war on China. We can... Can I send volunteers to a Chinese faction that it does not support? Ah, that's interesting. I didn't know that. The German-Soviet Treaty. Yes, the capitalists are a worse threat to us both. I accept. It immediately creates variants. Let's take a look. 
Uh, right, we're not going to build any interwar stuff. And I'm not going to build any heavy tanks. So is this the is this the thing we just got off them? Is this the German uh, the uh, right, yeah the German tank doesn't look very German. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to build heavy tanks. What are we building right now? I know we can't really modify it much. We're building the BT7, which looks like this. It has a improved small cannon, a two-man turret, welded armor, a gasoline engine, and Christie suspension. That's just needlessly fast. Why, why would you do this? 15 kilometers? That's useless. The divisions are locked at 12 because of the motorized. What we're probably going to do is switch to a close support gun, which gives us way less piercing and hard attack, but more soft attack. So that's definitely what we want to do. In fact, we want to do that really quite like as soon as possible. Next focus. Uh, yes, let's purge the first Moscow trial. New decision. War preparing against Japan. Yes, actually, that will let me go to war economy soon. Nice. There's concentrated, and I am tempted to just push on through. But not yet. Let's get some fuel. Neutrality Act over there. And yeah, this is going to get bumped up massively by this. 30 extra paranoia. It's going to be a problem. Maybe I shouldn't have made China fight internally, because then Japan is uh, you know, going to cause issues. But as long as they just fight the allies over there, they can they can mind their own business. We don't, have, we don't want to fight Japan, really. What's the win condition for this campaign, by the way? I don't know. Probably hold Berlin and Paris, I think, would be, would be a good... Good win condition. We're not going for like a full world domination campaign. We managed to get this down at all. Yes, more than half the length of our deficit. And war economy. Nice. First Moscow trial. The investigation into the murder of Kirov has uncovered a group of leads that point to a conspiracy. Political advisors. The following will be purged. Left wing trade unions, people's comments are. Communist theorists and appeasing technocrats. And we lower this by 50. Wow. Well, let's leave that off to the side for as long as possible because we want it to actually be 50 before we lower it. Because it can't go negative, I don't think. I don't think any of those people are uh, that relevant to us. Head of Directorate of New Buildings does sound good, though. Yeah, he would have been nice. But oh well, there he goes. Next focus. Um, let's give the administration. Lowest political paranoia by 20. How long does it take to do? Is it 70 day? Yeah, we'll do we'll do one other focus. And then this, I think. Because we need we do need this for this, right? No, we actually don't. Okay. So maybe we don't bother doing this. Maybe we do some more um stability. Wait, why can't I do this? Fold factories more than hundred. I do have a hundred factories. If it doesn't count dockyards. Okay, in that case, yes, the new Soviet woman. Millions of people in our union, first among the millions of women who are no longer confined to being wives and mothers, now also stand equal in the workplace. Heck yeah. Good stuff. Ba -da -da -ba -da. All right. And yeah, we obviously need to switch to mobile assault. Sorry, mobile warfare. So we can get all of the uh, the bonuses there. Hopefully we can slightly depoliticize de the military. Oops. Um, we also probably going to need armored trains. They could be useful. And more austerity trains. Anything else I want to research? I'm, I'm really tempted to go ahead and time on these, but let's do resource gain for now. Bum ba dum ba dum. We've got time. Like I feel like I feel like I feel under pressure to to make things work here, but we do have a lot of time before the. Uh, Thor Germany. Like, you know, three years, ideally. Four, maybe. I think three, usually on historical, but... You Soviet woman, nice quick focus. Can we do that yet? No. Uh, so what's, what's Paranoia up to? 8%. Which means it'll be about 24 or so by the time this finishes. So yeah, let's do this, just to keep that down. Alright, so if these take... Yeah, you know, this, you have to wait 175 days... You don't have to wait for that one. This you have to wait 175 days. This you have to wait 175 days. Okay. What's 275 days? It's 350, right? Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> 350. So it's going to take a full year to kind of finish getting all the way through here, not counting the time doing the actual focuses. 
like a year and a half to finish the purges. Okay. We will do campaigns, by the way. Uh, I'm gesturing over here because this is where the focus would be. Doing like Soviet civil wars. I think that'll be fun, but... Tanks only is a good time. So we're going to do that for now. There's radio. Now it's time to do this ahead of time. The allies exist. And just paranoia will be brought down. Good. Obviously the tank deficit is never going to go away. Because I'm just, you know, this is on infinite. But let's put more in there. Keep them, keep them training. Right, I should be upgrading my thing. Let's get radio interception. And let's decrypt German uh, ciphers. And then once we've done Germany, we'll probably do Japan, just to kind of keep an eye on them, maybe? All right, we've got some political power. Yes, popular figurehead, save my stability. Good. I think that's all we... Maybe we didn't, shouldn't have got him, actually, because there's probably enough stability in here to actually buff it up anyway, but we might lose some down here. Who knows? The purges might hurt it as well. I am low on supply. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Just from having two guys here, we have uh, low stability. Low low supply, rather. That's pretty bad. <laughs> I guess I will uh, start breaking this up. I don't know if this is the front line we're going to defend, but uh, we'll see. We've got other tank leaders. Yeah, that lands one. This administration, good. Which brought us back down to 8%. Not bad. Um, unlocks the agri-pop decisions. Well, I, for one, am looking forward to figuring out what the heck that means. We could go to free trade as well. We probably should have done that earlier. Get the extra factory output. But we've got a lot of other things to spend on. 400 days is soon enough to decrypt them. Let's get army and civilian intelligence groups established. So that we can uh, yeah, get a little bit more intel about what Germany is up to. It takes so much civilian intelligence to see their current national focus. I really don't like that. I, it it kind of makes sense, but... I think it means you... Uh, I don't know, you start feeling a bit blind looking around the world, not being able to understand what's happening. Are we going to get a construction bonus anytime soon? Does this give us any focus bonuses? This one does. So I will do this, then this, then we'll go ahead of time on construction. You should be able to do this, right? 120 factories. Uh, I'll get there pretty soon, especially with this additional building good stuff. Okay, but that is it for the first episode of this campaign. This one's going to be more traditional, broken up into episodes, probably about an hour long each or so. I will see you all in the next episode where we will continue building up, see if we can deal with Stalin's paranoia. Ah, yes, we could do some more. Yeah, let's do that. This isn't lowering it, is it? No, let's do some more forging production reports, try and keep Stalin sane. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.